Next we come to the read command. The read command normally reads an entire line of input into a variable. In the first example there, read A, an entire line of input either from the keyboard or from a file will be placed in the variable A. A line is delimited by a new line character, which on a keyboard is when you hit enter. The new line character, however, will not be in the text stored in the variable. If you have multiple variables on the line, as we see in the second example, each one will have receive its own line of input. In the second example, it's read a, comma, global variable b sub 1, and a variable c. That reads three lines. The first line of input will go into variable a, the second line will go into the global variable, and the third line will go into c. Reads can also have prompts. As we see in the third example, first of all, we write out a new line character, followed by the prompt name, and then we wait for the data to come in as variable x. This would imply we're using a keyboard, because you would not write a prompt to a file, obviously. So as we sit there, somebody will type in their name and eventually hit enter. The fourth example there, read star a. This is a little different. The Val value of the, the ASCII value of the character typed will go into the variable A. So if I have read star A uh, and I type capital A, the value in A will be 65, which is the ASCII value of a capital A. Read A pound sign 10 means we are going to read a maximum of 10 characters. You can limit the number of characters that, that will be read from uh, from the input. Presumably that's uh, that's also keyboard related. Finally we have a timeout. Read A colon 5. It means it'll sit there waiting for you to type something in for five seconds. If you haven't typed something in in five seconds the read terminates and moves on to the next command and dollar sign test will be false. Dollar sign test is true if any of if the read succeeds it's false if it fails. And If you don't type something in with it within five seconds or whatever number you put there then it's considered a false read.